Ed Sheeran has been found not liable in that copyright case against him. A jury found that he did not copy Marvin Gaye's hit song, Let's Get It On, when he wrote Thinking Out Loud. That's what a jury just decided moments ago. For more, let's bring in ABC News senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky, who is outside the Manhattan courthouse. Also, our Brian Buckmeyer, host of Long Crime Network and ABC News contributor. So, Aaron, you were inside uh, the courthouse there. Tell us what happened. Give us any color that you can because, look, there were a lot of Ed Sheeran fans that were pretty concerned about this because he was pretty direct when he threatened he was going to quit music if he lost this case. I do not hear Aaron. In his songwriting abilities, if he was found liable in this case, but he was not. The seven-member jury here at Manhattan Federal Court said Ed Sheeran did not copy Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On when he wrote Thinking Out Loud. Ed Sheeran had a big hug for his attorneys upon news of the verdict. He turned to each of them, gave them a big hug, slap on the back, and he is expected to emerge from court shortly. Uh, Sheeran's trial lasted uh, eight days, but jury deliberations lasted just a few hours before deciding that Sheeran was not liable for copyright infringement. As the family of Ed Townsend, Marvin Gaye's co-writer on Let's Get It On, had alleged, and their attorney, Ben Crump, had pleaded with the jury to please give credit where credit is due. Beyond the copying of chord progressions or sheet music, this case to the family of Ed Townsend uh, had a, a, a racial and cultural aspect to it because they feel like uh, white musicians have misappropriated black music for generations, and here they thought they had an opportunity to right that wrong. But the jury did not agree and found Ed Sheeran not liable. Kira? Brian, what do you think about that, how race was brought into this? It makes sense to me uh, from a historical standpoint. I know many people would argue that the music that made Elvis Presley was largely on the backs of those who are of color who made similar music and didn't get the, the accolades. But I think that race didn't have much influence in this case. This was about chord progression. This was about music. Uh, I don't think that Ed Sheeran was sitting around somewhere thinking or even unconsciously attempting to take music from a different culture. He's saying pop music. This is music that, yes, has been largely popularized by different um, people of different backgrounds, but I, I don't see the race implications here while I do understand them from a historical context. And Aaron, what was Sharon's response from inside uh, the court today, the minute after, or seconds after he heard the verdict? Just after the verdict was read aloud by the court clerk, Sheeran had a big smile on his face, a big hug for his attorney, Eileen Farkas. And, and this is to him a relief because he had threatened to stop doing what he loves to do. And his testimony at trial may have helped seal it for the jury because he spoke to what he had in mind and what he did not have in mind when he wrote Thinking Out Loud. Uh, his grandfather had just died, his grandmother had been stricken with cancer, and he said he was thinking about love at an advanced age, a much different theme than, than Marvin Gaye's soul groove classic, Let's Get It On, which Ben Crump, the family's attorney of Ed Townsend, said was the perfect song for that moment, a much different moment than what Ed Sheeran said he had in mind. And Ed Sheeran gave a micro concert for the jury. He had a guitar, he sang, and he tried to say that thinking out loud and let's get it on are, are both based on a four chord progression that's common in popular music. In fact, his attorneys played this rather humorous mashup video they got off YouTube of some British comedians playing like a hundred songs in a row seamlessly that use the same four chord progression. Ed Sheeran's attorneys argued nobody can own that chord progression or else nobody would be allowed to write music. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.